good evening. So originally I had a really good intro filmed for this uh, running video, only I didn't hit the button properly to make it record. So my gorgeous spiel, my one-off spiel that I had going, yeah, none of that got captured. So I'm actually doing this intro post run. Um, from what I can remember of the glorious speech I came out with off the top, completely off the top of my head, um, I was talking a lot about how I felt before the run, and basically I wasn't feeling all too enthusiastic about it. Um, I, would, what I did, I promised myself I would get out, I would run one mile, and see how I felt. If I wanted to turn back at that point, then I would, and if not. I'd carry on and probably do 10k, something like that. And so that is what I did. And I said, um, oh, what else did I say? I don't know. It was really brilliant anyway. And so, yeah, I will catch up with you later midway at the midway point of my run greetings fellow fitness interested in type people okay i'm midway through my run now and i'm actually kind of starting to enjoy it see this is the important thing about just getting out the door just promise yourself you'll just do that one that first mile and then i mean a mile's easy it's like what 10 11 minutes running and then, at the end of that mile, if you want to go home, you still can. But the thing is, at the end of that mile, you're getting warmed up a bit. It doesn't feel cold anymore. You're a mile from home, so, you know, it's going to take work to get back there. And, well, it's surprising how often it actually ends up leading to another five, six, seven miles, or maybe more. So just keep telling yourself just to get that first mile done and the chances are you will do a hell of a lot more. See this stuff's motivating by no from experience and yes I have more lorries in the background. Got to love that when it happens. So originally I was going to film this actually whilst I was running but that didn't seem to be a particularly smart thing to do because I'd be, you know, drawn into looking into the camera instead of where I was going. And last time I decided not to pay too much attention to uh, where I was going. Um, I was too busy looking up at the massive moon that was out that night. Um, I didn't notice that my foot was veering dangerously close to the edge of the path. Eventually my foot went off the path, twisting that ankle. And then I fell really heavily on the other ankle and um, it was bleeding through plasters for days. And it's kind of hard getting around when the pain in one ankle makes you want to crawl on your knees and you can't because on your other leg, your knee, every time you try and crawl, it just starts bleeding everywhere. So if you ever come to my house and you wonder why there is a big blood stain on my yoga mat. Now you know. So anyway, um, I'm going to get going before I call down too much. I will catch you later. Hello. I am just back from my run. And uh, do you see the power of just telling yourself you only have to do one mile to, just to get you out the door? Because not only did I get myself out the door, not only did I run what I thought I would, which was a 10k, I did seven and a half miles. It's not bad considering I was, you know, really, I almost didn't even make it out the door. After the seven and a half miles, it's my challenge this year to try and get a thousand miles, which works out as about 20 miles a week. So, yeah, I'm on target with this week. 
It's not bad considering I had to skip a run on Tuesday because it was just too icy. It would have been stupid to go out. So yeah, I'm very pleased with how I've done tonight. And I'm also very hungry. So I'm going to go grab some pasta. It's squid ink flavour. I've never had it before. Hopefully it's not terrible. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.